Now that we've decided to head back to Florida to get our boat work done, we're trying to drink in every minute of the beauty of the Exumas. I feel like I've grown a little bit attached to the Bahamas and the Exumas. I mean, we've spent a lot of time here. It's kind of sad to think that we may not be back for a long, long time. Soak it up, baby. You can definitely tell that the season is changing. We don't really have a monsoon here in the Northern Caribbean and Southeast coast of the US, but we definitely have a big pattern shift from when we see those cool air masses coming down from Canada to when mostly the weather is coming out of the South and Southeast. I feel like we're shifting over right now and it's getting sticky. It's getting humid and it's a bit hazy. Doesn't happen very often, but the, the wind has shut off here through the Bahamas. And while it's not great for sailing, of course, what is an absolutely spectacular area becomes, I don't know, otherworldly. The water, which is always glowing, is even more dramatic and beautiful. So we're gonna head off to one of our, I guess, secret spots. I won't tell you where it's at. I don't want anybody to spoil it. It's very difficult to get into. It takes a bit of planning with the tides and currents, but we're going to head over there right now, and uh, we'll show you a few shots along the way. Clarity is a big boat, and cleaning her is a full-time job. Calm weather is great for cleaning the boat. It's a great time for me to listen to podcasts and music. Dyneema is amazing stuff. It's incredibly strong and light and actually fairly affordable too. We use it to string up our trampoline. It doesn't squeak like regular rope does. But we do have to watch it for chafe. There's corrosion on the little nuts that hold the support lines. And over time, it rubs up against the Dyneema and chafes through. So today we're replacing some of that Dyneema. I probably don't remember, but about a year ago, we needed to replace our VHF radio, and it turned out that it wasn't the right size. The new one wasn't the same size hole as the old one. So I'd make this plate. I never really liked the way it looked. Well, today we're going to swap it out. Some of our very generous patrons sent us a new Raymarine VHF. This time, the hole is a little too small. I learned a long time ago that cutting or grinding or otherwise sanding fiberglass can be a real hassle. All those little glass fibers get into everything. So anymore, when I've got to make some fiberglass dust, I wait for a very calm day so the dust doesn't spread out. And then I keep a vacuum really handy. Might be a good time to point out that we use separate antennas for our VHF and our AIS. Now, some setups use a switcher where one antenna is used. We found that the switchers are not very reliable. So now we've got one antenna on top of the mast for our AIS and a separate antenna right behind the helm for our VHF. This also gives us some redundancy in case we took a lightning strike. You're so dressed up for cleaning. I, I realize I just never wear this dress. I forgot about it. Like Pizza it. is just an unfolded taco. Very good I point, my it. friend. I've never thought of it that way. All this talk of tacos, 
really make Sweeney tacos. Oh. I've forgotten about pizza. Are you, you've changed your tune? I have changed my tune. It's just a flat New York style <laughs> taco. <laughs> what have we here? Mmm. We have neat tacos. <laughs> Those are neat. They're really neat. You already got your neat? Belly full of tacos? Fully tacoed. So you stand by your uh, tacos, number one? Absolutely. So what do you think about this? Uh, I think that this is my definition of heaven. Yeah? Perfect temperatures, flat calm, nice breeze, nice sunset, belly full of tacos. Yeah, belly full of tacos. Oh, what else could I say? There's no bugs. The water is just mesmerizing. And uh, we get to stay here. It's going to be nice for a couple days. That is so cool. These are some new friends that we met a few months prior in St. Simons, Georgia. And I think they saw one of our posts on Instagram and found us here in the Exumas. You can see it's laundry day. Making I'm making some water, but I'm gonna go do some stretching first because that makes me feel better. It is so freaking pretty out. I know. I don't wanna edit. <laughs> I, I know, look at the water. <sighs> I need to go for a swim after yoga. Come do a couple stretches. I'm way behind on the video. I'm basically, uh, and 10% into this video, and normally we have them pretty much done by tomorrow, so I got a long way to go. I mean, look at that water. There's our anchor. I'm definitely gonna swim after this little stretch. a little bit like uh, Bikram yoga. Pretty hot out there. So I'm going to make Nick, my worker, a little egg sandwich. I did make some fresh bread, so enjoy the last of it with a little toasted egg sandwich. worker to be happy. 
Wow, well this is a step in the right direction. This is how the coconuts get made. Are they coconuts? Or are they peanuts? Sausage. Sausage. This is how the sausage gets made, everybody. Okay, well that wraps up the morning ritual. It's pretty common around here. Now I'm gonna go swimming. Okay, I'm gonna miss this water so much that I've got to take advantage of it. <gasps> All right, let's do this. One day when we were getting ready to go, it was really pretty out here in the Exumas. But we decided we really wanted to sail, so we hoisted up the <laughs> sail and, and we left. left. Away we go, away we go. That's the way we go. We go. We go. Go, 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 go. How many hours did you spend watching that show? Yeah, I'm gonna miss this place, but we got our fill of Pipe Creek. So it feels good, we're gonna get out while the tide is still somewhat high. Yeah, we don't have a lot of water to play with, so tide's high, time to go. Very comfortable broad reach. I was a little worried earlier on that we didn't have enough wind for the spinnaker. It was starting to collapse. But uh, it's just about perfect right now. We've got winds from about 120, so from our starboard quarter. And at 12 knots, it's just perfect. We're doing 7.5 to like 8.5. It's just the most relaxing wind speed and wind direction that you can have. It's basically perfect. Cushion treating you. I love it. <laughs> it's very comfy. It's like I'm in bed sailing. I think I'll just lay my head back. <sighs> Alright, let's look at some of these some of these boats. So what we do is we can click on them and it tells us what the boat's name is. That boat's name is Trouble. <laughs> I think they are a Cat Stevens fan. Trouble. Nice sail, huh? Yeah, that was gorgeous. So now happy to be I know, I love Shroud Key. That right there is our depth. Is even if we touch the ground in here, 
It is so soft. It's like a carpet. It's just so... It's like a pillow, actually. Honey, you were in a swimming pool. I know, we have to go swimming right now. Yeah. yeah. So perfect. It is. Oh my god. It's not even cold. No. Let me see if I can. Can you touch? touch? Oh, I'm touching. No. I'm standing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so I have a really long second toe and it's touching. <laughs> It's 84 degrees. In the water. Yeah, <laughs> it's so warm. As usual, an extra big shout out to our patrons. Thank you so much for your support and friendship. We love getting to know you. You guys really are making these videos possible. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye.